Hello, my name is Tristan Gravel and I play Victor Colliano. Uh, Victor now has been promoted to manager the Palm Court restaurant, so he's running the gaff. Oh. Now, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's climbing further up the ladder still. And um, he's got some family members in. Uh, one of his cousins is now doing what he was doing in the first series. And uh, he helps out, you see, his family as well, um, his uncle Enzo. So that's uh, oh, Uncle Gio, sorry, and but played by Enzo uh, Nicoli. And has it been great for your character to, to kind of step up a gear? This oh, it's been season? fantastic, you know, it's great because I think it's something that he always wanted to do, the character Victor, always wanted to, you know, have his own restaurant or be running things and uh, now he's in that position to do so. And it's interesting to see how he, and intriguing as well, to see how he reacts to all that and how he treats people with all that, you know, with all that power and stuff. And we hear your cousin brings some challenges. He's a bit of a, a cheeky boy, is that true? He's a bit of a cheeky chap, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so having to whip him into line, you know, whip him into shape and uh, sort of, you know, and keep it quiet as well, you know. We don't really want too many people knowing that he is my cousin in the store. Mm -hmm. you know, otherwise they'll go, oh, right, jobs for the boys, is it? But, uh, you know, it works out. Since going to the radar and detected. Good, good. And we love a good romance in Mr. Selfridge. Mm. Anything coming up romantically for you in this series? Possibly. Oh. Yes, yeah, yeah. Poss possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Possibly. There's you know, there's um well I think you see um you see a lot of you see Victor's family life. Mm -hmm. And with that can you know, cousins, family, friends, aunties, uncles, everything, you know, so there's that world and then of course there is the shop life as well mm -hmm. and, you know, there are the same people that were in the first series there, so obviously there is, there's always going to be flames and, mm -hmm. you know, you hold something for somebody, do you know what I mean? There's yes. always going to be that, you have your favourites and you have yeah. your people that you don't like, you know, your character. Now. And the costume as well, we see you looking extremely dashing here. Is, Thank you very is much. Is that fun and also does that help you really get into character because the costumes are incredible. It really does, you know. It, um, your posture, helps mm -hmm. your posture. I think the girls say it with the corset, you know, you can't really slump in the corset. And the yeah. same with this because, you know, like just take your head off. Because these are so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> these are so, now I wouldn't say sharp, but they're stiff. So it helps you, you know, just your posture and stand up straight, so that's good. So you get an inkling into how they used to be. Uh -huh. You know, if you were in jeans and a t-shirt, you'd just be talking to somebody or, you know, you'd slouch a bit more, but actually it was all about posture and it does help you. And yeah, you notice like the little niggles that you have on your shoulder, they just go because you're carrying yourself well. Yeah. So that's handy, perfect <laughs> job, I guess. <laughs> And what is it like working with Jeremy Piven? Fantastic, really fantastic. Um, the guy's a consummate professional, um, very generous, um, an incredible guy to be around, a ball of energy. You know, because I knew him from Ari Gold and I'd seen him in Black Hawk Down and Old School. Those are the films mm -hmm. that I remember him from. And I saw the entire series of, uh, of Entourage. Um, well, I mean, one, I think series one to seven, I think mm -hmm. it was maybe one to eight. And I thought, wow. I'm not going to be able to survive with this guy, you know? But I was thinking I had Ari Gold in my head, and of course, he's anything but. He comes here, and he, yes, he's a ball of energy. He's fantastic, full of charisma, and, and, and a very charming guy. And um, he was great. I mean, everybody is so, as well as being like uber professional, they're just so friendly to be around, you know? And we have a good laugh. It's a big family atmosphere. And, you know, it shouldn't be any different, really. And that's the way it should be, and it is. It's just fantastic. It's a joy to come into work. It's a joy to be, you know, with these amazing sets and these amazing costumes and, and just with these amazing people and having a laugh and calling it your job. It's, it's just I'm a very, very lucky person to be a part of this.